I'm Lord Charles Cartier. I'm a fashion show then, designer. It's pretty much it. <laughs> Summer mind, yeah, the summer mind, yeah, the summer mind. I'm still like, can you hit it with your OVO goose on? I'm like, what are you on? Told me that she too on. Ha, that's cute, we a few on. I run a page called High End Fashion on Twitter. It's, quite, it's got a minute, it's got like 23,000 followers. It did have 30,000, but uh, we got suspended for posting Jennifer Lawrence notes. So we lost it for a while. And we get paid to like promote. Brands like Love Envy, they post like 180 quid a month to uh, promote them for like just that, just that month. And we just post like all the new up and coming trends sort of thing and all the catalogs before they come out. I can pretty much sell whatever I want. Like on people, and like, I have like fanboys and stuff who like Snapchat me all the time saying you're my inspiration or which shit like that. Like I get emails saying can I work for you and stuff, but I'm like, like I don't do anything, like don't, you can't work for me, <laughs> I do nothing. Like all I do is just get, give me free clothes and pay to do whatever I want, pretty much. I got this here for free, it's worth 250 quid. It's from an uh, Isaac mob. Who she get to jelly rolling? Hey, 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 I can and the cause she open, I can tell that she from Uncle Pasadena, what up? Yeah, I love to get on. There's so many kids as well who want to do fashion at the minute, it's just fucking annoying. Whenever I go out, I meet someone like a new little fuck boy who just wants to be like fashion as well, it's like chill. People don't understand that you. You can't just like clothes. You've got to be able to like look at other people's clothes and style and realise that it's not only about what you like, sort of thing. How much are they for? 7.20. No, no. <laughs> I shouldn't know. And then I bought, I bought them and then I bought this car over here. It's fucking expensive. How much? 500. For a coat jacket, that's a lot. It's because it's cash money. What do you do to get followers? Uh, post up the pictures, <laughs> pretty much now. Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, I used to always write like really controversial things and stuff, but I don't really anymore. Just kind of dressing good, I suppose, and I don't know. And girls like my toes. Do you think wearing the Fox at London Fashion Week was one of the most controversial things you've done? Yeah, that was like a big thing at Fashion Week, obviously. Like, I was in like every magazine pretty much. Like all the blogs. I was even on like ASOS and uh, Boohoo.com. Boohoo.com actually got the fight deleted because it got reported for animal cruelty. I get boys sometimes tweeting me just saying like cunt and stuff. Like, but then I, I don't care anything. Like. Yeah, but that's what it's like though with like fashion. Like everyone who like dresses good kind of knows each other. I'm really bad at it. Like, I never ever recognise anyone in person. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, you're uh, you're like little guy. I'll see if I can swag or something. And I'm just like, I don't know who you are. I love to get on. I love to get to, she loves to get on. Uh, I got my first one when I was like 15. As soon as I left school, literally I got to my arm, which is that one, and it says get on your knees. And I got my palm down. I've had it done four times as well, it doesn't stay in. Like where I'm using my hands a lot, it just fucks up. So I've got Virgin Mary holding a baby Jesus with an upside down cross on his head, crying blood. Do you regret it or do you? No, I don't regret it. I, when I first got it done, like, as soon as I started getting it done, like, as soon as he did, like, one line there, I thought, I'm gonna die. Like, I regret, I regret this so much, like, but, no, it looks, it looks really good, sort of thing. And, like, everyone kind of knows me for it now. So he's gonna cover my whole body, pretty much, including parts of my face and my eyelids and stuff. I've got, like, a double tongue one. And then I'm taking my stretchers, which I've had a nightmare with, because I've had, when I used to go, like, a lot of, like, hardcore concerts, getting mosh pits and all sorts of stuff, like, crowds up and everything, I used to get them all pulled. Where my followers are all, like, or well, they all, or they either like me or they like want to be me sort of thing. Like, not want to be me or want to be like. <laughs> it's sort of fashion that sounds really arrogant, doesn't it? <laughs> Fucking hell. I have some girls who tweet me some proper weird shit as well. Very confident. Some girls tweet me the other day saying, can you come over my face? But I don't mind, like, it's quite funny. But yeah, no, I don't think I'm actually like different on, in real life. I think I'm just like, probably more nice in real life. And like more sociable. I suppose it sort of looks like I don't give a fuck about anything. And people say that it's cool, I suppose. And all the little fanboys and fangirls. I just love it. I'd love to be able to go out and just like, without no care, just drop like, like 10 grand on my clothes like instantly. Like, cause I, that is like the dream, sort of thing for me really.